Hey guys, I'm Aaron Darkblade, and welcome back yet again to Man of Madon. Now, I fully intend to beat this game tonight. I've just been playing it straight, and I am going to beat it before the night is up. It's like 7 p.m. right now. It's 7.02 p.m., and I've been playing this since the afternoon, and I'm going to be beating it tonight. So, I don't know how long it's going to take for you guys to see it, but I'm going to be beating it. I'm really enjoying this game. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying it, too. Because if I get halfway through the series and everybody's like, you're trash, never stop playing it, I'm going to keep making the videos on it. But, I mean, I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Anyways, guys, let's get right back into the story. It's still paused. Oh, hey, boy. A little rat boy. Okay, there's the man with the gun holding his hostage. Where are you taking me? I'm honestly yeah, surprised he hasn't just shot him. Do they all have a gun, or is it just the one guy who had a gun? 2.16 a.m. No deck. Look, shit. I'm just honestly, like, surprised Maybe he had started shooting. Going, damn it. Yes, very important. We must know where we're going. Probably can't stop and look at expositional stuff right now. Probably not going to work out the best for us. He's probably just going to shoot. Like, if I stopped to try and read a note or something, he's going to be like, hey, got that down. Cram it this way. And keep moving. Nah, hey, can you hear what we're saying? Do you know we're talking about killing you? Because I'm planning on killing you. Be ready for quick time events, me. <laughs> My biggest crux in this game so far has been quick time Stop. events. Now would be the time you need to take him out. Okay. As soon as he turns around and is pointing the gun somewhere else, that's when you attack, woman. Might not be the best plan in the world, the most thought out, but it's it's probably your best path. I, I think I just gotta be linear here. With a man holding a gun to my back, I'm just gonna... Oh, I was gonna say walk forward, but then we took a little right. And if you're not going left, you're going right. <laughs> That's a All pleasant right, scene. Come out. Show yourself. It's a dead person, buddy. It's a... Damn it. What? Why is that stack like that? You gonna lock These us in here? Fucking place is cursed. It is. We need to get the hell out of here. You guys need to leave too. Like we all just need to leave. Can I grab that captain's hat? Excuse me. SS. Look at this. NG Madon. It's a Madonna hat. Bearing updated. That tells me what ship we're on, right? The Madon? What was that noise? What noise? The... How do they never hear oh, the noise? Like, only one person ever hears the noise. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> that almost got me. That was a good one. It, it almost got me there. Like, it was a good one, game developers. I appreciate I what you're trying to do. Before? No, we haven't been here before. What are you, crazy? Yeah, move, Brad. Ooh. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're just being superstitious, man. Come on, there's no ghosts on this ship. You know, the thing I like about editing these playthroughs is every now and again I gotta cut something out, but for the most part, it's very cut and dry with how I edit. Like, cut you. You were one nasty bastard. What do you think happened to this guy? Face looking like that. And he died of know. terror. Looks like nothing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. Alright, buddy. But yeah, I really like um, the cut and dry editing of it, because I just. Olsen! Cut a couple of Damn. things out. Let's get you fed. And maybe do some effects here and there. Nothing too crazy. And so it, it takes a lot less time to edit. Okay! Well, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna go this way. Come on. No, hey, you why why does Brad get to be behind you? Is that a picture? It's a picture. What's gonna happen? Give me my premonition. What no? What the fuck, bro? 
guess I gotta remember that that's here in case we take him out. Don't QTE me out of nowhere. It's a dead end. What, are you saying this wall wasn't here earlier? Is that a closed door? What are you doing? Danny? Danny, what's wrong, buddy? What just happened? Okay, what just happened? Exactly, my thoughts exactly, oh, no. Brad. I'm telling you guys, Brad is me. I am Brad. Can we go look at that picture now? Oh, we got a flashlight. We got his ball cap, too. Souvenirs! Yay! Hey, what? You know, I don't Come know. On. We should keep moving. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go back and look at this picture because I'm. Oh, what the hell? Because I'm smart boy. Smart boy! Excuse me! What? Mysterious hooded figure with a skull staff in a dining room or something. Okay. That premonition means so much to me. Thank you for all that knowledge. Really don't know why Olsen freaked out like he did, but he did. Too bad we don't have his gun. Oh. Barely. God, I had to scooch my eyes, my dear. Hey, Brad, you're gonna get stabbed so around a corner so maybe you shouldn't be rushing ahead all right maybe you should like slow down a little bit so you don't get stabbed because i don't know who i think it's olsen that stabbed you olsen or junior i think it's junior that's gonna end up stabbing him oh that can't be a good sign what was no it? It was the lights going out. That's what it was, dude. Oh, I don't like this place. This is where the last guy died, isn't it? This is where the guy I was playing before died. From the opener. You guys remember that opener? Shut up. What are you doing? Brad. Brad. Brad, Brad. What are you doing, Brad? What'd you find? Jesus. What happened down here? There's a doorway right there. Is this my guy? Flip it. Charles T. Perez. Boston, Massachusetts. Charles. Poor Charles, dude. Is that my guy? No, he's wearing a helmet. That wasn't my guy. My guy was over here. In the middle. I don't necessarily know that I should go investigate it. Because it sounds like a good, easy, quick way to die. But, uh, we're gonna investigate it anyways. Because I want to know what happened. As much as I can find out, anyhow. Was this him? No, this wasn't him either. A knife! Is that like a dragon blade? Bro! Two of my guys have a knife right now. And they're all free from the big baddie. And when I say big baddie, like, not the big baddie, but, like, the guys with guns, like, they don't have us anymore. Wasn't this where Joe went out? This area? Joe? Joe? Oh, I just made a circle. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? How big is this area? I guess we're not gonna find Joe's body. Is that Charlie? Oh no, that's bad. Oh no. Um, Brad. Okay, I'm back to me, because I am Brad. Did she take off Are running? Are you sure you know where we're going? Fliss? Oh no, Fliss? now they're separated. Hello? I would say being 
alone on this is probably the worst possible option. Like, if all five of the Fliss. peeps had stayed together, Fliss. that'd be different. Where'd you go? Who is this? Is that a bullet hole? Or a, a, a bullet in his hole? It's definitely a bullet. Yeah, that's a bullet, all right. I thought he was about to just stick it back in him. Hello? Okay, that's not actually a path I can go down. I thought it was. Fliss, are you here? Great. All these hallways look exactly alike. <laughs> You're not wrong. No, I'm looping. Hey. Oh. Fliss, hey, where, where were you? What? Hello? Should I follow her here? She's acting weird. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Fliss, are you okay? What? I already pulled that bullet out of his. What? Am I in a loop? I think I'm in a loop. Alex. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty weird. Why would you carve the name in the bullet? Right there, Fliss. You're acting pretty, uh, pretty sketch right now. Be ready for QTEs. All right, I'm definitely in a loop. Are you absolutely sure? Shut up and keep moving. What? Okay, I'm in some sort of weird loop right now. Just keep on moving. Okay. Oh, hell. Oh. What? This is some weird, some sort of weird supernatural psychological loop. Is there anything on the bullet this time? Oh! Oh, God. Oh god. This is a little horrifying. Is Brad dead? Did I just kill Brad? Wait. No, I didn't. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, thank god I didn't kill Brad. What's going on? Maybe I should just not investigate the body. Hey. Are you sure? Okay. How? What? The guy told me to keep moving, and instead I investigated the body. There's no body this time. Don't pick the bullet up. Shit, why did I do this? Ah. That's, that's Alex, who's not dead. No, no, no. Alex? No! What? Oh dear God. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh shit. No! No! No, 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 no. no. I failed the QTE. Oh, he's not dead though. Oh, it's different this time. I thought I might have killed him there. You're still alone. Now you're just talking out loud. Okay, maybe I should have just not picked up the bullet. I guess we're going up the ladder. Oh, okay. I was like, what is it showing me? This ship is freaking massive, dude. What the hell? Like, there's just like this uncertainty to everything. Like, this unnerving feeling as you're playing. Because you just. 
You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's gonna happen. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! Okay, so Brad is slowly going crazy. I should not have picked up the bullet. Let me investigate over here before I drop down. Skeletons. Skeletons. Yeah, lots of skelly bros. That Skeletons? guy hung himself. Skeletons. What do you mean, skeletons? What do you mean? Some sort of altercation. Where'd all the skin go? Well, they're long dead. What do you... Sir, you were asked... You, you asked to be kept in... To first officer Fisher. Sir, you asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages at the following times with no responses. 0 to 100 hours. Oh, hun okay, so basically all the way to 1500. We were able to pick up indirect messaging traffic until... 01400 hours. However, there has been no further incoming messages track um, at all since that time. It is possible that our radio equipment is faulty. I am investigation investigating and expect to be able to report back to you by 0300 hours. Private Cooper. Huh. Was that Private Cooper? Oh, a wrench. Could this be used as a weapon? Nice, I've got a weapon. Oh, goody gumdrops. Y you all right, buddy? You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. What does that mean, you're not supposed to be out here? Why wouldn't I see skeletons? I'm so lost, Brad. This isn't terrifying in the slightest. What is this? doorway it's a locked doorway is what it is use that wrench of yours buddy open that door you can do it i believe in you <laughs> no no i'm not hearing this i'm not hearing this i'm not hearing any of this i'm not having any of your sass you leave me alone brad you and your anxiety i like understand you like i feel you my dude and I'm sorry you're stuck in such a shitty situation. Okay, so I guess our only option now is to drop down. I really don't wanna. I guess we don't have that much of a choice. Could it? Thank you. Oh. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> yeah, 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 I would jump too. What is below me? Two keys. Maybe. Okay, so that situation it doesn't give me QTEs in, really. It doesn't give me QTEs there, but it gives me QTEs everywhere else that you don't think you need it. Oh, now she's stuck in the loop. She's got a knife, though. Sure? Hello. I don't like those noises. I don't like those images. Is Brad dead? What is going on? Is this all happening at the same time? You know, I think I learned my lesson about investigating the bullet holes. Can I just leave? Can I QTE? I pressed the wrong QTE. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button again. Give me one more chance. Please. Oh my god. Oh. oh, I'm tapping. That one I can do. I hit that one. Oh my god, no, I hit that. I hit that. No. Please, please, no. Okay. She's okay. I'm panicking. I'm panicking, everybody. Calm down. It's okay. You're 
You're imagining it. Safe Brad. You're imagining it, but. She needs to save Brad. Like, she needs the feeling that she's saving Brad. Uh, yeah, I knew it. I should have known. Yeah, it was not really Brad. I knew it. Mm. Oh, that was a whole terrifying sequence, and I failed so many skill I failed so many quick time events. <laughs> okay. What in God's name is this? I need to stop missing QTEs, because I lost my knife because of that. This is what the premonition showed me. We need to leave now. This place is not right. I say we need to leave now, then I really immediately go to read things because I'm curious. Huh? Are you gonna read it? Cabal should silently assemble and no more or fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three females and two males. Firstborn faces obscured with hood. Sigils. Know it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being flock that can before the festival of Archimedean ritual. Sword in hand with all extractions possible is written of saviors of power. The five-star great power turning 90 degrees to your to describe you with reverence to face Norse with the exalted Oh. Okay. I don't know what any of that meant. All I know is I need to leave this place. There could be plenty of nice, cool things to explore here. Um. But I need to leave. Come on, let's keep your head on straight. I know that that is not a place I need to be due to the premonition. So we're in the water. Who's drowning there? Who is drowning? Somebody's drowning in the water. I don't know what that tells me. I don't know what that's telling me. Maybe not to jump in the water. Is that all there was back here? Oh, there's something else. Oh. That did something. Okay, how about we don't open that? Hmm? How about we find the path out of here first? It's not gonna let me leave, is it? Is it gonna let me leave? Oh, thank God it might. If I know, can I? Is this a wall? Is that what a is wall? Going That's on a wall. here. Okay, I shouldn't mess with this stuff. Is there a way out of this? I know that something's gonna happen here. Some some like hooded sorcerer dude's gonna pop up here and I need to be cautious of him. So I think it's better for me to just leave if I can. Is there, I thought there was a doorway here. Is there a doorway here? No, there's not. Oh, what do I do? Something I do is gonna summon the sorcerer bro. <clears throat> so he'd rather avoid the mad. The mad genius sorcerer, bro. Skulls. Yeah, we're not gonna touch those. Those are creepy looking skulls. Those are not natural. Blood fountain. This sounds about right. That's the normal stuff you'd find on a ship, right? Blood fountains and weird demorph skulls in a pentagram. Yeah. Yeah, it's about right. God, my flashlight's so weak right now. Look how weak this flashlight is. This is too weird. Do I gotta go down the staircase? I have to go down the staircase. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you get hit, caught on a little spot, you don't realize it, that you can't move. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie to you, the suspense is killing me. Um, we're leaving. We're leaving. Premonition says this be bad, so this be bad. I would love to investigate the coffin, but I don't feel like letting Fliss die. At least she found her way finally outside. I 
think that saved Fliss. I think that saved her not opening that coffin. I, I really didn't want to take the chance. Because I knew that something was going to happen there. Oh, she's going back in. Okay. Back into the thick of things then. I need some soda. Okay, the ballroom is gone. Mystical magical ballroom is gone. Now I can investigate. Now I can investigate. Yeah, yeah, come in. Come in. Get up on there. Get up on that. Let me. I can't. I can't turn the right way to do it, can I? Do I have to go all the way around it? Because it won't let me come back this way past the coffin. Oh, there it goes. Manchurian gold. It's the Manchurian gold. Chemical leak. Why is that called a chemical leak? Oh, did the Manchurian gold leak stuff? Is that what started all this? I well, I mean, I know that something leaked, but I thought it was like blood or something. Can I not, can I not leave here? There's no way through these doors, is there? No. These doors are like closed. There's no way through. Okay. Well, then how the hell do I get out of here? Can you flip the camera angle so I can see, please? Thank you. <sighs> Honestly, I'm glad that the ballroom is not covered anymore. I think it would have gone badly on me if I had checked out the coffin beforehand. That's why you gotta love the photos in this game, man. They give you all the secrets, but you gotta figure out what they mean. Now, what do we have here? Hello? Let's, uh... Investigating that sounds like certain death with the electricity going. That shows me nothing. Oh, okay, so I don't have to actually have to walk in the water to investigate it. What just happened? What? What? Oh, Brad! 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 Oh. Hey, Brad. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? Oh, I missed. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. I messed up, guys. I need a minute. I messed up. I messed up. I feel so bad. Because I just killed Fliss. And then I panicked and left the game. Like, I know it auto-saved, so I was just, it's done so already. It's already done. Fliss is dead. I was gonna save Scum, and then I was like, no, I can't save Scum. It's saved it anyways. So, oh, I'm just gonna reload with Fliss dead. Oh, I can't believe I already got somebody killed. And if I'm missing a QTE, for all the times I miss QTEs, this is the time it killed someone. Ah, I'm so mad at myself. Like, all these times, hitting, or missing all these QTEs, and I was able to make it out, scrape out a living, but this time, no. This time, Fliss is dead. And I'm so completely and utterly disappointed with myself. Oh, no, I messed up, guys. I messed up. Okay, Fliss is dead. Later, Fliss met Brad, who attacked and killed her with a spanner. I screwed up, guys. So now I gotta rewatch her death scene, and I'm not ready for this. Oh, I already killed off a character. Shit. And there's no way for me to reload it. Anyways, if I wanted to save Scum, so unfortunately Fliss is just dead. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh. 
that breaks my heart. Especially that it was because it was Brad. Oh, I already screwed it, guys. We're like maybe halfway into the game and I've killed somebody. If I- I just need to stop missing my QTEs. Hello? Why? Why though? That's the question. Why though? What was the point of you doing that, buddy? You just- a little- little bit over-exaggeration there. Oh. Okay, we're moving. I need to move quick, otherwise she's not going to be able to breathe. Hello? What was that? What is this? Oh. She, now she's hallucinating. So everybody's hallucinating. The wedding ring. What? How's that even possible? He's gonna open his eyes. Yep, he's gonna open his eyes. Oh, there's two of them now. Why are you? What's happening? Who's doing what? I'm so confused. Was he attacking a version of himself? What is happening? So that's what I saw in one of my premonitions. There's a QTE coming. What? You... You okay? Thanks. I could have drowned. What just happened there, Julia? We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! Oh, it was him! It wasn't Alex, it was him. <gasps> Hello. Who are you? You don't look familiar. What is my bearing updated? Grab the knife and chase her in such a way. So that guy does look like Alice, so I'm not completely crazy. I don't know what's happening. QTE? Let's go! QTE? These QTEs are like literally very, very quick QTEs. So that's why I'm failing him so bad, because they just. Oh, they're so fast. Like, I was able to hit QTEs in Rise of the Tomb Raider, but those were honestly a lot easier than these QTEs. It's like they want me to get the characters killed by QTE. I can disable them. I heard, I've read that you can disable them, and I should have disabled it. You wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that you get you get these guys that are not the cream of the crop they're taking it a little too far you know you get my drift so if you want to feel free to pull the old plug get rid of these guys i'm with you i mean these guys are fucking crazy they're chasing us around the ship so now he's going crazy he thinks that this is all like some sort of prank that's the lady i saw this is sailor lady. The ghost. Alex! Julia! Where are these QTEs at, man? Okay, you're just gonna stop running and start walking nonchalantly. I get that your legs hurt, but man. It's something. It's, something is fucking. Yeah, you think? You think something's fucking with you, buddy? Oh, great, there's music playing now. 
water purification plant with field notes from Officer Warren Knight. Huh. It's like a layout of the ship. I don't know how to read that. It's not helping me at all. But I appreciate you giving me that. So I'm just going door to door now. I'm a door to door salesman selling some, some spit. Can I, can I go in here? Thank you. See, like I said, this camera angle it is a little detrimental to knowing if you're going through the right spot or not. But it really does add to suspense. Man overboard. Ordered full stop and anchor at 02800. I received reports of man overboard. Ensure that all units at your command are notified and prepared to assist in search and recovery of the casualty. There was no accident. I saw him jump. So somebody jumped from the ship. Is that the first death from the Manchurian Gold? Did this happen slowly? Fourteenth Army Division. To all officers, Captain Ford has ordered that the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer found drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. Your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. This war is over. This is bullshit. Yeah, I feel you, dude. There's no reason they should stop you from drinking. Like, come on, bro. Fought for the country. And mad their booze. <laughs> it's fucking with me, man. It just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's just, it's just fucking with me, okay? Is this a wall? It's fucking with me. Yeah, it, it is It is fucking with you, buddy. Can, can, would you get, get, get in the doorway? Dude. Walk through the doorway. There you go. There you go, pal. Oh, a candle. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything special with it. Hold up. Oh, hold on, Christy. Hold, hold on. Not chill, bro. Do it again. Dude, there's not even a candle on. What? Well, it was only lit for even a second, so even if there had been an actual lit candle on it, it wouldn't be warm, Conrad, but what an astute observation, regardless. Is that, is that an urn? Is that a picture I can look at? Is that, a, is that picture to help me? If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. I'm not so sure about that. I don't think even he really knew what was going on here, man. I think everybody just kind of died out from some crazy, crazy thing. Yeah, God. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this Are door. Are we gonna be able to get out with this dead? I should. But should I? Yeah, I should. I don't think there's any other option, Bo. <clears throat> Yeah, not going so through how there. Do I pry the oh, okay. We're actually gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep trying. I don't know. I don't see a crowbar or anything anywhere. Maybe the candlestick. Maybe the candlestick is the answer to all of our problems. It's got some half to it. Enough for the door. See? Now you're using your noggin. See, I don't pay attention at all. Hello, ma'am. You want to explain what the hell that was? Um. Oh god, I failed. Okay. Ready to hit all my QTEs. Okay. Come on, Connie, you got this. Did I do it? Did I freaking do it? Did I get Connie out of it? Yes! 
I missed one QT, but I hit two others. Okay, it's not over yet. That was the wrong QT. Oh, hello. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong one! Tell me what to do here. Okay, nothing, I don't have to press anything. Okay, okay. I'm so bad at this game. At least it only made me press A and D there and didn't try to like toss S in the mix or anything. Hello, y'all. Still in your heyday, I see. Oh god, this is bad for him. I'm trying to climb up the ladder with his leg. I'm sure adrenaline's helping. Oh, I'm waiting on the QTEs. It really looks like a cutscene, so you don't expect QTEs, you know what I mean? I mean, of course, it tends to be where they come from, but still. No, I pressed the wrong one. No, I pressed the wrong one again. Oh my god, he's dead. And I killed somebody else because of QTEs. Hold on. This is just not even... This is just not even fair. I have killed two people now because of QTEs. I... Oh my god. Oh, Connie. Okay. I'm gonna end it off here, guys. It's a little under an hour. I, I don't want to get too much into it, but this is what's killing me, okay? This is killing me. I have lost... Two, I've killed two people off because of QTEs. And it's like... Obviously, if I hadn't have given uh, Brad the, the spanner or wrench or whatever you want to call it, he wouldn't have hit... Um, he wouldn't have been able to kill... Or probably wouldn't have been able to kill um, Fliss. But, since I gave it to him and then I missed a QTE, boom, she's dead. And here, I, I had to pass like 5 billion freaking QTEs there. And I'm terrible at QTEs. It just seems unfair that he's dead because I missed some QTEs, you know? That just, it just feels unfair. Um, like, because what else was I going to do there? Because it's like, I didn't make a choice to put him there, he just managed to get in that situation like it's like that's something that he, a situation that he's always going to be stuck in and it sucks that he had to die because of that like i i care most about getting brad out of there brad and julia are my main two obviously and now i want to i want to get everybody out but i'm just i'm sick of people dying because of qtes i'm not going to disable the qtes because that ruins the whole point of the game um but it just sucks that they had to die because I missed QTEs. And yes, I did actually try to save scum that one there. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did attempt to save scum it because I, I, it, it pisses me off a little bit that I've got to lose because of these QTEs. And I don't think the death should be purely based on the QTE. Now, maybe I did something that could have changed his situation there, but I don't think that there was. With Fliss, it's understandable I shouldn't have picked up the wrench. But, I guess it is what it is. But, it's just unfortunate. But I am going to end this one off there, and we'll pick right back up where we left off in the next one, guys. Until next time, I'm Aaron Darkblade. Peace.